everybody, Jason here. It's a uh, Saturday morning, and I just got a care package in from a uh, ground chuck. And I went ahead and uh, opened it offline, uh, so that way I don't fumble through it through the video. Uh, but before we get into the content, I'll talk a little bit about ground chuck. He's a fellow YouTuber, and uh, he's fairly new to the game, same as me. Uh, I think he started his channel maybe a week or two before I did. But uh, when I was going through the whole process of uh, deciding if I wanted to make a channel or not, I was watching a bunch of videos and uh, saw saw quite a few videos of uh, uh, fellow YouTubers opening care packages from Ground Chuck. And uh, so I checked out his channel. I mean, he... PC's Dawson, anybody at PC's Dawson is okay in my book. I mean, the Hawk, I mean, he was awesome, Hall of Famer, played for my beloved Cubbies, and uh, he's got a big passion for the Seattle Mariners, and so I, I really like this content. So after I started my channel, him and I started talking back and forth a little bit, and I reached out to him, and I says, hey, you know, I, I want to send you a care package. And uh, he responded back with, funny, that's, you know, it's really funny because I wanted to send you one as well. So uh, we talked a little bit back and forth. I sent him out a care package last week. And uh, he opened it on uh, his channel. And I just got his care package in uh, yesterday afternoon. And um, let me tell you, it's, it's pretty awesome. Kyle, you really hooked me up, but can't say it enough. But we're going to go ahead and get right into it. First off, we'll start with this 1970 Fergie Jenkins. I l absolutely love Jenkins. Hall of Famer. It's unfortunate that he didn't pitch for the Cubs a little bit longer, but, I mean, the Cubs in those days were notorious for trading off valuable players. We'll get into some other stuff here. We got the... The sticker here, pretty cool. Of course, one of my favorite catchers, Jody Davis. Really liked him. That was pretty neat. I'm a big fan of the 80s Cubs. And pretty much that's why it's because, uh, you know, I grew up in the 80s and I started collecting in the 80s. Ron Sano. It's really unfortunate that uh, he didn't get the call to the hall until after his uh, death, and it really meant a lot to him. So, I mean, baseball writers should be ashamed. But uh, he had a great, great career. He was one of my favorites. Another sticker here. Love this Ernie Banks archives. Mr. Cub himself. Pretty sharp. And a Billy Williams, baseball greats. I love old Billy. And I thought this was really neat. 81 Coca Cola set from the 81 Tops. And it's actually, he got me the complete set. So, Chuck, I mean, uh, I love it, man. Billy Buckner. Ivan De Jesus, love Ivan De Jesus because without him, Rhino would have never wore a Cub a uniform. So, thank you, Leon. Just a just a really cool set. Eighty one tops, Rick Ruschel, Big Daddy. Thought that was really neat. So, I love it, Chuck. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then here's another one. Lee Smith, 82. Fleer, rookie card. And uh, thanks, Chuck. I didn't have this one. I got the Donruss and I have the Tops, but I did not have the Fleer. So that's, a, that's definitely going in the PC. We're going to throw him on top of Fergie. And then... Uh, Chuck knows that I uh, PC Sandberg, so he hooked me up with some uh, 
Well, before I get into Sandberg, I forgot this. Nick Jackson. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. I I love Nick Jackson. Really, really thought he was going to be something special for us. Unfortunately, he didn't pan out. Uh, but I, I invested a little bit of coin on him when he was first coming up. And uh, but that's it's all part of the collecting game. But this was this was really neat. The '92 Bowman, uncirculated. Now into the Sandberg stuff. Chuck really outdid himself. It's a '91 Slurpee, bottom coin. Love those. And thanks, Chuck. I did not have that one. And here's a Rhino sticker. Got a cardinal on the back. I think that's Joe McGrain. Did not have this one. Sticker from the same set. Saber Hagen on the back. But I did not have this one. So thanks a lot, Chuck. Really hooking the PC up, bud. Kmart, Sandberg. We got a little post action here. Just really, just really great stuff. Any Sandberg is a good Sandberg. And I do not have this one as well. It's Wonder Bread Stars. From 1990. Just really neat. A little 92 Fleer action. It's really cool cards. Thanks, Chuck. A little Sport Flicks. You used to love these back in the day. Just really cool. <laughs> A little 87 Fleer action. And this is, uh, 87 Fleer is by far my favorite set. And I'll tell you why is because when uh, I actually remember when I actually first started collecting, it was around '86 and '87, and I was collecting a lot of the, uh, I was buying a lot of '87 tops, because in those days you can get a pack for 25 cents of the '87 tops, so I'd have 15 cents left over every day after lunch. And every other day, I could stop at the gas station right outside the elementary school, and I could get a pack of cards. And I was buying the 87 tops. Now, some of my friends, they all had the 87s, but they had the Donruss, and some of them had the Fleer. And the 87 Fleer was a little bit harder to come by, and you had to pay a little bit more for it. So, it did not have a lot of the 87 Fleer. And so, I just kind of grew up just really... Loving the set because it was a little bit harder to come by. So it was A7 Fleers, the baby blue. It's just really sharp. I really love them. Some Donner's action there. I love the Pinnacle Denny's. It's kind of hard to get the action shot there. Really neat, Chuck. Thank you. Collector's Choice, Silver Signature. And that was his uh, first retirement in 94. That was a tribute. Little EX. And here was another PC hookup. The Leaf Steel. Did not have this, Chuck. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Some of the tops big. A little A9 Bowman action. Another really cool set. I didn't like the oversized cards, but. And then here. Have this pen. Did not have this pen. This is really neat. Thank you, Chuck. And then last but not least. 98 Leaf. Heading for the Hall Studio. I did not have this. So thank you very much. It is numbered. 920 out of 3,500. Now that seems, in today's standards, that's a really high serial number. 
But in those standards, back in those days, I mean, that was... Numbered cards were just really hard to come by. And this is just a very pretty card. Did not have this. Another great addition to the PC. So if you haven't checked him out yet, Ground Chuck, he's got a great channel, great dude. Um, and I just really appreciate the hookup. Very cool. Thanks, Chuck.